text, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Leviticus 19, 27. Commentary. Verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, the extremities of the hairs of the head, round about, on the forehead, temples, and behind the ears. This is done, as Jaki says, when any one makes his temples, behind his ears, and his forehead alike, so that the circumference of his head is found to be round all about, as if they had been cut as with a bowl, and so the Arabians cut their hair, as Herodotus reports, see Gil on Jeremiah 9, 26. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard, by shaving them entirely, Jaki and other Jewish writers say, there are five of them, two on the right, as Gerson reckons them, one on the upper jaw, the other on the nether, and two over against them on the left, and one in the place where the nether jaw joins the right to the left, the chin, the same observes, that it was the manner of idolaters to do the above things, and Maimonides is of opinion that the reason of the prohibition is, because the idolatrous priests use this custom, but this law does not respect priests only, but the people of Israel in general, wherefore rather it was occasioned by the Gentiles in common cutting their hair, in honor of their gods, as the Arabians did, as Herodotus in the above place relates, in imitation of Bacchus, and to the honor of him, and so with others, it was usual for young men to consecrate their hair to idols, but inasmuch as such practices were used on account of the dead, as Ibn Ezra observes, it seems probable enough that these things are forbidden to be done on their account, since it follows, 